So I gave him the diaper bag. No, I didn't have clothes in there, but I don't feel like I should take care of my house and his house. It's your daughter, get your clothes for her house. So I gave him the diaper bag with a couple of diapers and some wipes in there. I gave him that and I sent the baby to her uncle to give to him so I can leave. He came outside, he pulled my gas tank back and try to put a lit cigarette in there. And so I, luckily I backed up fast enough for him to like, he jumped off and I drove away. And so he called me a couple of times, I didn't answer the phone and he called my brother. Well, my brother was still there. My brother called me and all you hear him in the background screaming and yelling and going off stuff like that. And my brother asked me, what do you want me to do with the baby? I'm like, it's his week, just leave her there. He's with his, her dad, she's safe and just come home. So can you tell me why we're here? He damaged my car and I want him to fix it. Well, what did he damage on your car? The gas tank. He, he scratched the paint on it. And at one point in time, I wasn't even able to bend the tank, like put the gas cap back on my car. But now you can. So show me a picture of the scratched gas tank. Do you work, Mr. McCaskill? Yes, ma'am. What kind of work do you do? Uh, I build freezers. Well, the freezers be outside of gas stations. And you, Ms. Thompson? I uh, work in retail. Do you have, other than having this co-parenting arrangement, do you have an arrangement for child support? No, we do not. I'm currently working on that and trying to get a custody agreement for the two of us. Well, there are a lot of chips on this car. I suggest, Mr. McCaskill, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go into an auto body shop mm -hmm. and you buy a little thing of white touch-up paint. Mm -hmm. When you finish touching up this little scratch on the gas tank, it's not you touch up the other scratch that's below it, the other scratch that's below it in, in this. What I don't understand is, you don't look like really nice people that had a bad day and you've been doing this co-parenting for a while, so there must be something nice about the way you still feel about each other. Otherwise, you wouldn't have gone to the barbecue, you wouldn't have taken the baby. You clearly, Miss Thompson, are smart enough to know that if he has custody every other week, you can have a life. Yeah. Yeah. I, listen, I used to say that all the time. Why are you fighting him? He's a nice enough guy. You know, you made a child with him. He's interested. He wants to be part of, you know, part of the baby that he made. And it gives you an opportunity to have a life. You no, like, the only reason why we came up with that is because he wasn't taking her at all. So what, how that started was I literally, I dropped her off one day and left. That's how that started. Well, that's not so smart, you see. You don't want to leave a baby with, with, someone, with someone who doesn't want to keep her. Mm. That's what I'm suggesting to you. You can't force somebody to be a parent if they don't want to be a parent. I would rethink that. You're absolutely entitled to a life of your own. But if Mr. McCatskill is immature enough so that he feels as if this is somehow some kind of a burden for him, as he said, you were trying to push her off on me for the week, then I would make certain that a court gets involved in seeing how much and when your daughter spends time with each of her parents. Anyway, I don't see any major damage to the car. But I'm awarding you, put, you, I'm awarding you 50 bucks. Go buy some white paint. We're done. I just ask you when they step out. That's my daughter's mom, you know what I'm saying? Especially with my daughter in the car. Don't want to talk. I didn't try to blow her. I, I wouldn't hurt her at all. Don't want to talk. And I hope we can get back to the agreement. Like I said, I haven't seen my daughter in like a month now. Don't want to talk. I love my daughter. She tried to make it seem like I don't want her. I love my baby.